Okay, everybody. These are my two sable puppies in Spirit and Justice's litter. This puppy with the black mask, um, well, actually both of them, are going to be the color of my whimsy. Many of you all remember my novice A dog, um, whimsy, very tall, 11 and a half inch fawn and white sable. That is the color these puppies are going to be. Very rare, but extremely appropriate. Um, Pilot, their grandfather, which is where they got the gene from, um, has been used in judges' <coughs> um, education at nationals and um, progressive dog clubs and things like that to show that it is an appropriate sable color. It's just very washed out, very recessive. And um, anyway, so the little masked boy on the left is Andy. These puppies were named after Toy Stories um, characters. And the one with no mask at all is Woody. Now, Woody is a wonderful puppy, and it's still not determined where he is going. Um, Andy, on the left, was the second pick of the litter. The only reason that he was not the pick of the litter is because he didn't have a great recall. And I kept saying, something's wrong, I can't put my finger on it. We had a bear test done on Friday, and he is in fact um, hearing impaired, very low end um, of, of any hearing in his right ear, but his left ear is normal. Um, so it's really just a matter of this puppy learning how to discern and then to track where sound is coming from and already in the week that I've had to adjust to this with him he's learned so much he's gone from panicking to um, when he hears you know because it was clear that he was hearing which is why I didn't catch this very fast um, the woman that did their evaluations thought he was extremely independent and that in her books was a plus that he was more interested in doing what he wanted to do rather than to come where all the other pups in the litter come readily. Well, it turned out he wasn't hearing us. So um, then when he did hear, because he can hear out of his left ear, he cannot hear out of his right ear. He always would turn to the left and then he would shake his head back to the right, look over his right shoulder. And if he, if he couldn't find the source of the sound, he would get upset and, and panic. Right, Andy? Andy? Yeah, good boy. Yes, very good puppy. And, um, and we've already fixed that. He used to go to the point where he was shaking his head, no, 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 looking left, right, left, right, where's that sound coming from? And then he would start crying and whimpering and, you know, wanting to, uh, you know, do what he thinks he hears, but, but he didn't know what to do. So now I've learned to make myself visible. And he, in return, is learning that when things are loud and clear on his left side, that's where the sound is coming from. And if it's muffled, turn to the right. And it, it is clear that he is figuring that out already. Really smart little puppy. Um, he would have been my pick. And that's why I'm frustrated because I truly feel because of his intelligence and his drive and his confidence and his biddability. He's so biddable, so easy to work with. Um, 
I hate to see him go to just a pet home. I would love to see him go to a home where there's a kid who wants to learn how to train a dog, where, you know, someone can teach them how, uh, you know, to, to have him still be a performance dog because he really had a lot of that to offer. So basically I'm doing this video because I need to find a home for this little guy. If I wasn't keeping Jesse, I would absolutely take him on as a project because he's worth it. He's a neat, neat, neat puppy. Right, right, Andy? Are you a neat, neat, neat puppy? Yes, you are. Very, very nice. 